Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I study part three of the Mathematical Tripos at the University of Cambridge and that is basically a fancy way of saying that I study a maths masters. So this video was filmed around two months ago but I'm only just now getting a chance to edit them because of how intense my course was this year so expect a few more videos going up over the summer of what I was getting up to on my masters. So the first thing I did this morning was wake up and head to the MCR which stands for the middle common room and that is the postgraduate common room so i got there relatively early around half six and the common room is very quiet on a morning because not many people study in there it gets a bit livelier towards midday when lunch is happening but what i quite like about it is it's a very chilled environment but also very quiet on a morning there's usually only myself and jason who you'll see in a moment and it's a chance for me to get a lot of work done so this morning I was going over past papers for my astrophysical fluid dynamics module, which is a module that I really, really enjoyed this year. The lecturer was brilliant for it and I learned a lot of really, really cool things. I'm planning on doing a video explaining the ins and outs of all of my modules and I might even do a very specific video for each of them. So do a video for each of the modules. If that's something you're interested in, then just comment down below and I'll make sure to film that video. So once I'd done some work in the morning, it was then 7.30, which means one thing, Sainsbury's is open. Now Sainsbury's is directly across from my college, as you can see here, and it has put a dent in my pocket, as I said in my previous video, because it's so easy to just pop over and grab some food, but it's also been where I've been getting my breakfast in the morning, and that's mainly because they sell coffee that has the equivalent of three and a half cups of caffeine in, which may seem bad, but it's something that I didn't realise and then I just think I got addicted to them. So <laughs> here I am drinking coffee, um, but it got me through my, my degree and I can now say I've got a degree from Cambridge. So it's fine. It's fine. It's all justified now. So once I got my coffee and my breakfast for the morning, I then sat down and did some more past papers. So I was doing a past paper for astrophysical fluid dynamics and I was trying to do it in time conditions, but with some of my notes available as well, because it was the first time I'd done a past paper and I didn't want to worry myself too much if I didn't understand things. And it went really well. I understood more than what I expected. I think part three has this stigma for being the hardest maths course in the world or one of the hardest maths courses. And although that is true i would say it's definitely the hardest thing that I've, I've ever had to do you also surprise yourself and that's something that i i think i didn't believe in myself enough this year and then when it came towards the exams i was like actually i can do this so i think it's quite easy to get in your own head about how you're doing the hardest maths course in the world and how it might be impossible but really anything is possible if you put in a little bit of hard work so no surprise, I went for a little walk around Sydney Gardens and this was just to break up my day. Jason's been trying to get me to go for more walks and that's just to help split up my day. And this was something that I try to do every day without fail, just go for a walk, just because walking in general is good for your mental health and also it just breaks up your day. It's a chance for me to chat to my friends when we go for walks and also visit the woodpecker who featured in my previous video. This is Sydney Sussex Chapel and this was where I matriculated and it looks absolutely stunning when the choir are in and they have all the candles lit. And it's just a surreal experience when I was there for my matriculation, all the candles were lit and we had to walk up and sign our name in this book. And it was just so surreal, honestly. A Cambridge experience, I wasn't expecting it to be quite as unique as it is. And it really is just such an incredible experience that... If you get the chance or are fortunate enough to, to get into Cambridge, then go because I have had such incredible experiences this year and I'm so fortunate that I was selected for this college and got to see all of the beautiful architecture and, and events it had to offer and just generally fortunate enough to be selected to study at Cambridge. So this is us exiting the chapel uh, the chapel has a few events on, so vespers are just generally the choir singing or people that come and play the violin or the piano. It's not 100% religious, so you can just pop in and, and watch some really, really talented people perform. 
and once we had wandered through the chapel for the purpose of this video, because I really wanted to show you the chapel in at least one of my videos, I then headed back and did some more work. So this was just me going over one of the past papers that I'd done, and one of the questions on the past paper was on conservation laws, and very luckily this is actually what came up in the exam, and I'm glad that I had <laughs> spent a lot of time going over this, because it's something that we hadn't learned previously, so we'd learned about conservation laws, uh, specifically magnetic helicity, but we hadn't actually learned about cross helicity, I believe it was, and I found a book that went through all of the conservation laws for astrophysical fluid dynamics, and I got the answer right, so then I drilled it into my brain ready for the exam, and luckily that is what came up on the one of the questions on the exam, for the first part anyway, so when I got into the exam that was the first thing that I answered, because I was like, okay, I know this, I, I definitely know this. Here I am just going over and checking questions. As I say, we don't get mark schemes at part three, which is something that's slightly frustrating because sometimes it would be nice to know whether what you're doing is correct. But I think that might be why part three is also as hard as it is, because you have to really, really work hard to get the questions right. And as I said in one of my previous videos, this astrophysical fluid dynamics module actually had 20, over 20 past papers available that I could have done in preparation, which seems like a lot and it really is a lot so that was something that added a bit of intensity to my degree so on my next break i just left a bit of a message on my youtube which was saying that i was planning on filming every day which i didn't actually end up doing just because i felt like my days were very repetitive and you would just be seeing the same video over and over but it was just a bit of a, an update to say that i am still alive and appreciate all of your messages so what I was doing here is Adrian is doing a machine learning PhD, which involves a lot of maths. And we were just going over some maths that he was struggling with. Heidi then showed up, Saeed, Adrian and Jason and Anna, who didn't wave, which was really sad. Um, and we all headed to grab some lunch. Now, the weather has been absolutely beautiful this, from March onwards, really. Cambridge has been just so nice very rarely rains which is which is really really nice so we joined the long queue and got some college dinner and sat out in the beautiful weather the sun was shining and just had a nice break from revision i think it's quite nice to get out of the postgraduate common room because the lighting isn't too great in there it feels very dark then after some cheesecake some brain power i moved on to some statistics now adrian is probably one of the most clever people I've ever met so whenever I have a query with my statistics he's always there to help me because he's done a lot of statistics with machine learning and he was a huge help to me this year. Adrian is quite literally a genius so whenever I had a stats issue I'd just go Adrian and he'd pop over and we'd uh, we'd discuss it together and that's what's quite nice is the collaborative nature of of masters I think it's quite nice that I have friends that are STEM, but also non-STEM, and I think the variety really, really helps. I then continued doing some work on my iPad, and that was just going over an example sheet, just writing it up, checking that I knew everything, just because sometimes it's a bit easier when you have everything in one place. So I interchanged between writing on paper for my past papers and then doing example sheets and things like that on my iPad, which I will release a whole video explaining the ins and outs of my degree and how I studied and, and all complicated things like that. Once I had done some statistics, I then moved on to my extra solar planets module. And this was just looking at upcoming missions, upcoming telescope that would be helping in the area of exoplanet discovery. So this is what the module really looked into was perhaps finding life on exoplanets that we have yet to discover. Well, there was a big emphasis on James Webb, so any of you space lovers will know that James Webb is a telescope that got launched on Christmas Day, which I did actually watch, watch on Christmas, and it will be uncovering so many incredible things, and it's something that we learned about in this module. So I was just looking at other other telescopes, other missions that were going on to, to uncover perhaps life on other planets. So that's what I was doing there. Then Heidi got me a very, very special gift because I had been quite unwell the week before. No shock there, I'm always unwell. <laughs> and um, she got me this beautiful planner. I noticed she had one and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty, I love it. And she surprised me and got me my very own University of Cambridge little book, which I don't think I'm going to write in because it's so nice. Then Heidi and I had our dinner together. It was quite a late dinner. 
and that's where I decided to sign off for the evening. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video.